somebody else who has a, a bit of a troublesome uh, question that 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 follows her around is Elizabeth Warren, Focahontas, if you will. She was on the Breakfast Club podcast, and if you don't know that, it is one of the the major uh, black podcasts that's out there. It's well done, and uh, uh, they get a lot of high profile people. Kamala Harris, you may remember, we played the clip. But that's where she said that. Uh, she liked to smoke marijuana because she was Jamaican and uh, some other, well, I won't characterize the statements, interesting statements. And uh, Elizabeth Warren was on The Breakfast Club this week. Uh, the questioner is Charlemagne the God. I don't believe he bears any uh, any family history with uh, the King of the Franks or the Emperor of the Romans, Charlemagne. But in any case, he is a great direct questioner. Uh, in interviews. I like him very much, and he just poses it right to her, and it's just, it's, it is a total shade and Freud moment, because I so detest the progressive anti-liberty policies of Elizabeth Warren. I am just generally happy when something, something bad usually happens, but it, it is kind of like, you, you do have a, almost a moment of sympathy for her that she just can't get away from this, and she keeps saying the same thing over and over again, which is so hilarious, which is, that she's not a member of a tribe, and only tribes determine tribal citizenship. That's what she, she said when she first started answering this question. I think if I were going to ask Elizabeth Warren a question, I would say I would preface it by saying, you don't have to say uh, that you're not a member of a tribe, and only tribes determine tribal citizenship. Without, without saying that, can you please answer this question? But here's Charlemagne. And I, I want to clear up some stuff, because sure. th- there's a lot of criticism that's said about you, so I want to give you the opportunity okay. to speak on these things. Uh, the Native American thing. Mm-hmm. Do, do you regret taking the DNA test? Oh, uh, look, I can't go back, mm-hmm. but... You know, you got to explain to a lot of people that don't know. Now, you came out and, and said that you were Native American. And, Long ago. And yep. found out that you weren't. And people were very upset about that. The same for the people who don't know. No, but a lot of people don't, don't know have that much time. Because we're, we're putting people <laughs> up to her as well, so yes. go ahead. So, I grew up in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Uh, I learned about my family the same way most people learn about their family, from my mama and my daddy and my mm-hmm. aunts and my uncles. And it's what I believe. Um, but I'm not a person of a color. Mm-hmm. I'm not a citizen of a tribe. And I shouldn't have done it. She refuses to say whether she regrets it or not. That's a great line, this, this well, I can't go back. Well, nobody's asking if you, you, know, if you had a time machine or access to one. That would be pretty big news, Ms. Warren. But how about my mama and my daddy, is it, this, this is a woman who is uh, less than a month away from her 70th birthday, and she says mama and daddy, and I guess the problem for me is I just think that if it was not an election, if she wasn't running for president, she would say mother and father. Uh, mama and daddy just seem so disingenuous. All right, back to Charlemagne. How long, how, long, how long did you hold on to that? Because there was some report that said you were Native American on your Texas bar license and that you said you were Native American on some documents when you were a professor at Harvard. Yeah. Like, why'd you do that? So it's what I believe. You know, that's, like I said, it's what I learned from my family. When did you find out you, when did you, find out you weren't? Well, you know, it's, it, I'm not a person of color. I'm not a citizen of a tribe. And tribal citizenship is an important distinction. And... Not something I am. So <laughs> she keeps she keeps answering this question that nobody has asked, which is, "Are you a member of a tribe?" No, nobody's saying that. And the best part was that question. If you didn't pick it up on it, was basically what he said was, "When did you find out you were white, lady?" <laughs> she she doesn't she doesn't think she is. That's the th- she's still she's still living in uh, fantasy land with her DNA test. All right, last one. Were there any benefits to that? No. Boston I, Globe did a full investigation. It never affected, nothing about my family ever affected any job I ever got. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't get a discount in college. No. You kind of like the original Rachel Dozal a little bit. Rachel Dozal was a white woman pretending to be black. No, well, this is what I learned from my family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she also refuses to give herself a robust defense. This kind of like, well, yeah. Uh, you know, half the time when you hear one of these uh, political pundits on TV give advice to somebody who you think they don't want to win office, they're not actually giving genuine advice. They're giving, you know, fake advice. But I don't do that. I'm giving the genuine advice, the real article, 
Elizabeth Warren, somebody, you know, I'm sure that given the, the vast network of uprising or somebody's got her ear. Go ahead and pull her aside. Here's the advice for you, Senator Warren, free of charge from me to you. The next time you say that, you say, I was lied to. I was told something that wasn't true. I then repeated that. I didn't make it up. I'm not Rachel Dolezal. Rachel Dolezal tried to trick people. I was tricked. Now, I don't necessarily think any of that is true, but uh, if that's your story, you should be a little bit more assertive about it. If only to air that, add that air of uh, authenticity to the story. The other thing is how quick she is to say, oh, uh, no, I got no improper benefit from it, which I appreciated Charlemagne zeroing in on. Uh, that, that, that reply came fast and furious. Uh, the Boston Globe, well, if, if the Boston Globe says that the Democrat senator from Massachusetts is, is kosher, then we know, uh, pure than Caesar's wife, to be sure. What we don't know is, and, well, actually, excuse me, what we do know is, for sure, in the institutions of higher learning, in Harvard University, at the University of Pennsylvania, to be a woman of color is to be like a unicorn. Uh, A woman of color who, by the way, wasn't hired as part of some diversity set aside, but because of her merit academically, it's unheard of in these uh, in these places. And 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 that's the reason why she was so successful um, in part. And that's, of course, the reason why she put it down is because you get unearned benefit by virtue of these immutable characteristics. It's, It's exactly the stated goal of the progressives and anti-racists anti-racists and types is to eliminate those unearned privileges that Elizabeth Warren got. 